Hi, this is Chris. Um, I'm going to show you why slicing and dicing uh, a PSD file is the old school way of doing things. Um, so I'm just going to show you some tips that incorporate Photoshop keyboard shortcuts and in my opinion dramatically reduces the amount of time it takes to slice a PSD. So um, because I'm doing this on a Mac I uh, have a little conversion thing here, so anytime I reference the command key, I'm really, or it really means control for PCs, and the option key is the alt key for PCs. So, uh, what I have here is my WordPress Chameleon PSD, and I'm going to just pretend, for example, that we want to make a change to the logo, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the effects here the logo or you know in some cases you can replace the logo altogether. Um, so I have my changed logo. Uh, so I've seen some people what they do is they they hide all the layers like this and do that to isolate the the image and then they maybe draw a box around it to get the dimensions. Uh, but this is really just super super overkill. Um, and I'm going to show you why. Hang on a sec, I can't get back to the order of things here. Just a second. Okay. So I had the changes made, blah, 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 blah. All right. So what we do now is uh, you put the, the cursor over the visibility icon for the folder that you, contains your logo. Um, and if it's not in a folder and you have multiple layers, it's best to put it into a folder. Just put your cursor over the, the visibility icon with the eye, and you hold Option and click, and you'll see that it hides all the layers except the one that you're selecting. So now that we have just that layer visible, we can do Command A to select or to create a marquee around the entire thing, and then when you hold Shift Command C, that's copy, uh, but it's copy merged. And what the difference between copy and copy merged is uh, normally when you do copy, it's just command C, but when you hold the shift key down, that does the copy merged. And what that does is it copies everything uh, and it combines multiple layers uh, and it just com it copies everything, including the styles uh, and creates a single layer on your um, uh, pasteboard or whatever it's referred to when you copy. So now that we have it copied, merged, we can create a new document. And you'll notice that when I do that, it has the dimensions of the logo. And so I just do Control V and I paste it. Now, um, what you'll want to do with your logos is you'll want to make sure that when you save it, you don't have the background image so you maintain transparency uh, if your logo has transparency in it. And then I just do the uh, save as or save for web and devices. If you do save for web and devices, you get this window here. And you just make sure it's uh, PNG with transparency. Uh, and then you just click save. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. New logo. And it's thinking, thinking, thinking. I don't know why this part takes so long. <clears throat> and there we go. All right. Oh, wow, that's, I accidentally clicked there. So now on my desktop, I have a logo, a new logo with the transparency, and it just contains that image with my changes. So that's all you have to do. Um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and visit themolitor.com slash forms, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have pertaining to this video. Hope it helped. Thanks a lot.